that is made up of two photography competitions, one local, one international, and that is just an extension of the Ontario Summer Arts Festival. Um, both of these competitions, they have different characteristics. Um, the Caribbean Mirror, which we are getting support from SAW, it's going to be called the SAW Caribbean Mirror. We're always interested in seeking partnerships which have the potential to add value to the customers which we serve. Art is a reflection of our life. It echoes who we are as a people, what we like and where we ask art to be. Like art, at SAW, our business is all about ensuring, yes, we provide life, but also that we provide persons with energy solutions to help them go about living their lives the way they imagine. Saul is happy to be a part of this movement, Art in Motion, and look forward to see just how this competition will use photography to raise public awareness about key issues which we are very concerned about, such as the, the natural and built environment, people, health, which are all subjects which Saul continues to be very interested in. Additionally, the Caribbean Mirror Competition is our regional photographers. The opportunity to showcase their talent and develop their craft even further. It's all kinds of descriptions. <laughs> um, award winning, famous, everything that you can think of. He will now give you a better background on the birth of uh, the Caribbean Mirror Competition and of Picture Barbados, which is the local aspect of, of, the, of the competition. So let me hand you over to I believe one. that the arts in Barbados, the time has come. We really need to, we've been talking about the creative industries for a long time, and I think we need to do something tangible. So it is our vision to have an annual event where the peers of the art form are showcased in one location, preferably outdoors, because we want to have it in Sunday. So we don't want to have it in a building somewhere hidden. And, um, we expect this festival to grow because based on the response from last weekend, sorry, a couple of weekends ago, mm -hmm. those who took part came to me, almost each one individually and said, look, we like what we're doing. We are happy not to have plastic toys and other forms of, you know, other things that don't sort of relate to what we're doing in the same environment. We have people who don't normally go out and who spend money, come and browse and they bought. So they're behind me to do something else in a hurry, not necessarily there for a year. So that was very encouraging. Um, okay, photography obviously is my passion, but I think photography has the ability to change life, as, as you said, to, to you know, influence. And uh, we have thousands of images being shot now. The digital era has created a situation where everybody should have thousands of pictures, but how are these photographs being used to affect change? So I thought that if we could harness all this, this talent and have in one location a lot of images that on the various teams, then these teams could be used to get various messages of climate change, uh, healthy lifestyles, the way we treat our children, etc., etc. So that was where the idea of the competition was born. Further, I thought that um, tourism by Barbados needs all the help we can get. We need to be seen as a focal point for many things, and I thought that in photography, if we could be seen in the region, of the photography and visual arts focal point that will help our efforts generally. People going on holiday with their families these days very often look for things that they like to do. And if they thought about in Barbados, there are lots of opportunities, lots of people can take us around, lots of associations we could join for a couple of sessions or whatever, would help could help sway somebody to choose Barbados over somewhere else. So hence the sort of international view of having it on, on online. Um, and having hopefully substantial price money because that you know money talks. So we are happy that uh, in both cases we have gotten very substantial funding and, and that Saul of course came aboard as a as a principal sponsor um, uh, recently. And because of this we got to extend the time for the for the both 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 of the competitions. We think um, that this the sort of PR around this this, this you know, event will help to generate more interest so we want to give people more time. And even in the local competition, we think that the people coming in for Kahoba, we should give them an opportunity to run around the So we want to extend it during the summer as well. Um, that is the background, and um, I think, you know, I, I have a good feeling. I th I've been given a lot of support. People have been calling up and, and saying we should not long ago. But of course, this is, this, is, this, is, this is the result of a year's planning. We first spoke to Julie and uh, Dan over a year ago.